Hey everyone, it's Shane Stevenson here at the Buffalo Naval Park and uh, for today's video we are back in the wing and fin space on board USS Little Rock. If you watch the video from yesterday you'll see that we had a bunch of physical therapists on board hauling them up, cleaning them, and then bringing them into this space. Uh, so I want to show you the good work uh, that we did. So let's pan around. We got Teresa on the camera again. So look at this. This is pretty nice. All right. So here's the. Uh, you've heard me talk about the ready service uh, racks uh, or the stowage compartments. Here they are. Uh, prior to yesterday, we had only three. All right. So all of these we cleaned and filled in. There's even still a nice original tag here. Uh, and then we'll walk over here. For this section, these were the the. Uh, when the booster fell off, these were the, the wings that were right on the edge of the missile. And uh, again, we only had three, so now we added one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, if we come over here to the front wings, all right, we had, I think, just two over here, and then we had three over here. All right, we're keeping two here, as you can see, just because this is actually the area that people uh, come and look because uh, this space isn't really open so they can walk by and look through the plexiglass so I wanted to have a couple here and here just so when they look up into the upper left corner they'll see them up close but usually people will just pan over here so yeah we've added one two three four five six blah, blah right astounding right and it really looks nice they're filled in nicely and so so what would actually what does all this stuff mean right usually wings and fins and, and missiles in later generations would just fold and then unfold as it's coming out of its uh, as it's coming out of the barrel or the tube or the deck All right, but here they had to be manually entered and attached so if we take a look over here we've got the assembly area the mating area right they are on those dueling cradles all right, kind of like a shimmy, all right, and then they would eventually come to the launcher rail in that middle uh, tray that you see right there. With the shoes, they would connect to the launcher rail and come through. And then what happens? So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys on this space, and they would each assist each other with putting on the 12 wings and fins. All right, starting at the back, you know, they take them out of the ready service tray, attach them. Sometimes they would need to be twisted. Sometimes they just go in with a locking mechanism and lock. And then, so now the missile's ready. Uh, the, all the wings and fins are attached. What the crew would do is they would come behind the screen, and then you have a foot pedal, all right? And that foot pedal would go to the control, uh, the control console to say that these individuals were ready to go. They're behind the screen, All right? Except for these two over here. If you take a look over here, you'll see two of these foot pedals. Now I'm imagining with these painted lines on either side that this would be the rough area where the uh, missile and booster would stop. All right, so if you're standing over here and you're signaling that you're ready to, the missile is ready to move and you're safely out of the way, I could see that being a safe distance. All right, of course, the booster isn't going off, so you don't have to worry about that. So we have a station over here, they're clicking, they're clicking over there, two guys over there, and two guys up uh, aft over there. All right, because that's the back of the ship, it's facing that way. So when all ten guys click the foot pedal uh, as the safety uh, as the safety pedal. Then the alarm would sound one last time, and you see the red lines. The crew is instructed to stay behind the red lines. The missile goes 12 feet per second. Right? That is about eight miles an hour. Right, so not too relatively quick, but it's hydraulic. It goes from zero to eight miles an hour as it goes out onto the launcher. Now, 
eight miles would still probably break an arm if you're hitting the fence. I mean, let's take a look at how big these are. Right, and there's a sharp edge to them. All right, so if you get hit with that, in your arm or your leg, depending on where you're positioned and where uh, whatever uh, wing or fin is in your uh, path, you're having some serious damage, even though you're still it's only going eight miles an hour. Nice and snug, maybe. There we go. So, right, the alarm goes off. All 10 guys are behind, they've clicked the foot pedal, now the launcher door is open and uh, the rail comes up onto the first, uh, comes up on the front or the top of the top door, as you can see right here, it just comes right out and it just extends beyond, right out onto the launcher. Now you'd be able to have uh, two or three missiles ready, mated, but then you still need those few minutes to get the missile, the wings and fins on uh, as well before heading out to the launcher. So this is a great display. Again, can't thank the folks from uh, all the physical therapists that from the Western District that helped yesterday. Uh, we brought them up here and we loaded them in the ready service trays. And uh, hopefully that gives you a nice explanation as to what uh, some of the architecture that you'd see right here. All right, please leave comments, consider a donation. We always thank you for your support, and uh, we will see you again soon. Thanks so much.